Malik Smith kept one secret from his family, a smoking habit. When he was home alone last week, he drove two blocks away to have a cigarette. A neighbor noticed him and asked if he was waiting for someone. Smith shrugged it off and went back home. When he headed out again, he got the shock of his life. Nine police officers with their guns pointed at me, and one of them yelling, freeze. Fusion police had received a 911 call about gunshots fired in the area. They handcuffed Smith, arresting him for intimidation and possession of a firearm. He says he was held in a prison cell for nine hours. After about the sixth hour of being there, I started freaking out. I started yelling in the cell. I started saying, get me out of here. Like, why am I here? His mother was also in a panic. I'm still sitting there for almost two hours. Still don't know what's going on. I don't know what's, you know, what's happening with my son because I was trying to call him. No answer. Finally, Smith was let go and the charges were dropped. Turns out there were no gunshots. It was a hydrobreaker that had exploded. The incident has left Smith scarred. He has a message for police. You guys disgust me. You guys are not professional. Activist Foniemi says the first step is for police to acknowledge their error. But the problem is most of the time the police departments don't give that information and don't show that they care, which is basically adds the, uh, the, the, the insult to the injury. Roussillon police say they were just doing their jobs. They have to investigate complaints like this one thoroughly. But that explanation is not good enough for Smith and his family. They're considering legal action. Navni Paul, CBC News, Montreal.